Hey everyone, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm going to talk to you all about deep conditioning. Deep conditioning your curls will make them shiny, soft, healthy, and very moisturized. Now as some of you may know, deep conditioning also helps with hair growth. So I'm going to start adding this to my routine and doing deep conditioning treatments once a week. So let me hop in the shower and show you exactly what I do. The first thing I'm going to do is wash my hair and I'm going to be using the Shea Moisture 10 in 1 Renewal System Shampoo which is sulfate free meaning it will not strip the natural oils from my hair. Now the main thing to remember when shampooing and conditioning is to really massage the scalp to clean the hair, remove any product buildup and also avoid any dandruff. Now besides the fact that these scalp massages feel amazing, they also help stimulate hair growth. When I had longer hair, I often focused on the length of my hair, but we have to remember the hair grows from the scalp, not from the ends. Now I'm going to rinse out all the shampoo, dry off, and we're going to move on to deep conditioning. The deep conditioner I'm going to be using today is by Eden Body Works. It's an all-natural deep conditioner with jojoba and manoi and coconut. Now the main reason I caught my attention on the shelf is because of the jojoba and coconut because they have great hair growth benefits. They both add shine, add volume, elasticity, softness, strengthens the hair, and also treats dry scalp and dandruff. This deep conditioner smells really good and it's really, really thick. So first I'm going to, oh, I forgot to take off my ring. I hate when I do that. Anyways, I'm going to apply it all over my hair first, and then I'm going to start to section it off and really make sure to get every single strand. With the length of my hair, it's easiest for me just to finger comb through all of my hair, but if you have longer, thicker hair, it'd be best to section your hair and just do one section at a time, and maybe even using a wide tooth comb to evenly distribute all of the product throughout your hair. Now I just grabbed a little bit more, I'm going to apply that to the very top of my head and I'm going to start to use these little silver clips and pin all of my hair up. Now for some of the best results, after you deep condition, it's best to sit under a hooded dryer. If they don't have a dryer just lying around the house, I'm just going to use a shower cap. You also can use a plastic shopping bag or a heat cap, but the best thing is just to cover your hair for at least 30 minutes. Some girls actually deep condition overnight, but I've read a whole bunch of articles and some people say that you're over conditioning your hair, so who knows, you know your texture more than I do. So just try a couple things and see what works best for you. Once you rinse out your hair, you should use cool water to close the hair cuticles and lock in moisture. And you will notice it's really easy to finger detangle your hair, it has a lot of slip and your hair just feels really soft and moisturized. Now this is one of the first deep conditioners I have used. If you have a favorite deep conditioner, I wanna know what you guys use, so leave me a comment down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday, so I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee, today.